Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today we are painting one of my favourite 2000 AD characters, Devlin Moir. He is the muscle-bound occult specialist who loves a mint julep in the Judge Dredd universe. He was one of Britain's comics' first openly gay characters, and he is just amazing. As a character, I adored reading his comics in the 90s, I believe they were, and all the newer stuff that's come out since then. Uh, I have very fond memories of Judge Dredd refusing to let him into Mega City 1 for a cat competition. So I have long-term memories with this guy. So like all my models, I start off with black prime and a heavy dry brushing of the pallid witch flesh. Now in the pictures, which I will hopefully stick one up beside him, you will see this guy is basically Arnold Schwarzenegger during his Mr. Universe phase, and he is glorious. He needs to have slightly darker skin tone than what I would normally do. So what I'm going to do this time is base coat his flesh with Rakuf, I think it's Rakuf. It's the Barbarian Flesh Shade from Games Workshop. It's going to add this nice flat coat to him which is going to make his flesh stand out a lot more when I get around to properly shading it in. I then grab the sand golem because I want this flesh tone to be fully dried before I apply any shade. So his sand golem is going to go on to these amazing slacks he wears. And I'm just going to heavily apply it all over. This is the great thing with speed paint. You don't have to be super, super delicate. You just slap it down while I'm doing that. Let's talk about Devil Noir a bit more. In one of Devil Noir's first adventures, he is sent by the Vatican to an underwater prison that has a vampire infestation. And he comes in, guns are blazing, super cocky, believing he's going to save everyone, and ends up getting bitten and infected by the vampire virus. He ultimately survives and deals with the problem there and then goes on for many years to hide the fact that he was infected from the public eye. He became a lot more reclusive, but he still worked for the Vatican. I'm unsure if the Vatican knew at this stage whether he was infected or not, but he did a very good job for a long time keeping it secret. And then one day the truth comes out. They learn that he does have vampire powers and he is a vampire but they seem to accept it because he has it under control for the most part. I don't remember many comics where he loses it to the bloodlust. There's been a couple of like teasers where he's struggling to hold off, but I think he has it completely under control. He also controls the way he drinks his blood. Uh, it seems he either has gentleman callers that he uh, uses for blood, or he is using the blood bank in general and has a supply on hand. I guess it's the benefits of being rich. You can deal with these issues. But yeah, such a unique character. This model in particular, he is armed with a laser gun, which just looks so sci-fi, it's painful. He's got his classic vicar collar on from the Vatican, which I'm now painting in the pallid witch flesh. If I can get the right consistency on the paint here. Uh, he's also going to be wearing a blue vest. He's got his sand golem slacks, as you can see. I'm going to use Reichlin Flesh Shade on his flesh to give him the tone that I want. And I'm going to give him uh, sweet, sweet black hair. So I'm going to have to dig out the grim black paint, which I hate using, but it's got to be done. And as you can see here, he's also smoking a cigarette, which is banned in Mega City 1. This guy breaks so many laws, it's ridiculous, but he has diplomatic immunity in most of the comics. So Dredd has a hard time <laughs> refusing him. And it's so funny when they meet, because this guy, he's so camp, and Dredd is so strict that they just play off each other wonderfully. And it's always a joy to read a comic when these two are both in it. So as I drift off camera, I grab the Reichland Flesh Shade, and I'm gonna go over this now. As you can see, it gives it a more tanned, muscular look. This guy, I think I mentioned it already, he's meant to be kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger from Mr. Universe muscle build. It's all in the upper body. He's been missing out on his leg days. 
but it's such a great model. I've got the finished one in my hand. I'm staring at it. I love the way it looks. I'm very happy. I'm definitely trying to work out how to get a game with him in it very soon. Uh, got a few Judge Dread games I want to play first before I can start doing some more fun one-offs. But I can guarantee you Dev Lemoir is going to be one of the early ones. Now, in the actual game, he's only 17 points, which isn't a lot. He's not over the top strong. He does have a martial arts skill that makes his fists a very potent close combat weapon. Uh, I think it's plus two on the attack, which is amazing. And it counts as a double handed weapon because he's using both of them. Then he also has his vampire skill, which allows him to ignore injuries and stuns, which can be game changer in the game. But yeah. Beyond that, he just has a laser pistol, so he's not crazy over the top. I could definitely see me uh, having him face off against some vampires or hunting down some weird cult that has sprung up in one of the blocks. It could even be fun to have maybe some uh, Puritan vampire hunters coming after Devlin because they finally tracked down where he is and can uh, hunt him down in the warrens of Mega City 1. But yeah, this guy, he just has the ability to come up with some real fun stuff. I could have him fight monsters, I could use him in other games as well. He'd probably be really cool in a game of Cthulhu of some sort. And yeah, I'm just so happy to have this in my collection painted up finally. So I'm now onto the dark wood, and I'm just going to use this on his belt and his shoes to represent the dark leather that he wears. Um... The sculptors just did a great job on this. I'm very impressed. They could have gone with maybe a newer art design like they've done with some of the characters, but they definitely stuck to the Devlin Noir that I remember in my teenage years, the Swimming in Blood one, where he's wearing this over-the-top silly outfit that's showing off his muscles. He's here to impress. And I just, I need you guys to help me. I need to come up with vampire rules. I need to come up with something that this guy can be fighting in a game. So if you've got any ideas, drop them in the comment below. And this is probably a good time to say like, subscribe and all that good stuff. I've been on a pretty good track so far with paint and stuff. I'm doing pretty well on the 2000 ADs. There are definitely a few more characters to get through in the city dev and some sits. But I believe next week I'm going to paint my first supporters miniature. So as part of the subscription service down below, I am making characters for anybody who uh, joins that or has been supporting me along the way. And the first one is going to happen next week and it's going to be for none of aches. And it's going to be all about the Kidney Hut. We've decided that it's going to be a Kidney Hut executive and she is going to look amazing so make sure you're back for that it's going to be a fun little video nothing too crazy might even do the character creation roles for it as well so you can see how i go about all this kind of stuff and right now we have moved on to the blood red we are painting in that laser pistol it just looks so sci-fi it's very silly it's very camp uh <laughs> judge dread's laser pistols would not look like this not even sure where the damn thing would shoot from. It doesn't seem to have... I don't know. I'm not even sure how a laser pistol would work. This thing looks like a Tesla beam. Maybe it vibrates and shoots at a ray that way. But it looks so cool in this bright red. I really am enjoying this model. Right, I've been yabbing on for a while now. So we're going to start speeding up the video so you guys don't get too bored of me. We are using the Cloudburst Blue on his outfit here. It's a nice dark blue. I was tempted to go brighter, but I really want his laser pistol to stand out as the brightest item. So I went with the slightly darker Cloudburst Blue. Also looks very similar to the judges' outfits that I use, so it makes sense because he is kind of a law enforcement style character. Just happens to be from the Vatican. And I think it just works. It works. He's looking like the artwork, so I'm very happy at the moment. 
And I'm just going to take my time and go around this. This takes a while because I'm trying to be super neat with speed paint. So we'll jump back in in a moment. And for this step, it's all about the runic gray. And we are picking out his cigarette lighter. Now, this is probably an antique of the old world, I would imagine. Devlin Wag is known for having a extensive collection of retro and antique gear that he is finding across the world as he's traveling. It's something that when Judge Dredd actually managed to search his ship, he was ripping apart Devlin's craft and was finding all these antiques in there. And it was so funny to watch, especially at the end when uh, Dredd found out he had diplomatic immunity and couldn't do anything, had to give it all back. It like really upset everyone. It was such a good story. If you can find it, read it. It's well worth it. And there we go. We're on to the last step, I believe. We're on to the grim black. This is going to be for his hair, uh, his cigarette pipe, and his eyebrows and moustache. I am going to do his eyebrows and moustache. And as I look at the mirror, I just lied. This is not the last stage. We still have to do his little amulet, which will be in a zealot yellow when we get there. Let me just jump forward a little bit because this takes me a while. Now, my loyal followers, why is it about painting eyebrows? Why does a model always look weird once you put eyebrows on them? I don't get it. Like, they're there, they're sculpted. I didn't go overly thick or anything like that. But he just looks weird. <laughs> it's weird, it's good. It works in the end it just at this stage i guess i'm going through the ugly phase and i'm getting a bit worried it's getting late here i'm probably losing it i'm slightly sick i think i think i caught another bloody head cold the last one of summer and i think i'm getting a bit delusional so grab the zealot yellow i'm just going to use it on the square amulet that he's got this all-seeing eye that he wears i think we'll call it there we'll do the glamour shots and i hope you enjoyed sorry i'm being a bit loopy today i'm heavily medicated <laughs> so god help me god help anyone that i've got to work with tomorrow and i hope you uh enjoyed drop a like drop a subscribe drop a i don't know is there a vampire symbol that you can drop down below and I will catch you in the next video very soon. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. Cheers for watching.